I kind of want people to see that he's a normal person. I'm trying to look at him as a person. He's been locked up for 27 years. Nathan Brooks' house sits under a massive power line that you can hear buzzing to this day. And so that's probably another reason the spirits are still there, or those non-human entities are still there, is they've got a power source right there, plus the rituals that took place. They're probably not going anywhere anytime soon. They, they're aware, you know, why we're here, so. It was unsettling. The lair's resilient. If it drags them down, they'll get rid of it. As time goes on, it, it starts getting further and further away. I truly believe it's something ever so sad of this poor boy. Obviously, was, there was abuse in the family, and he probably felt isolated and was looking for some sort of escape to displace his anger. Even though he did such a horrible thing, he still was a human. He still was a person and it's easy to get lost in that.